need everybody to stand clear for descent, please, as I bring Mr. Timmy down. EMS, can you please receive the uh, casualty? This is Timmy, he's 23 years old, suspected suffering from heat exhaustion. If I could just get you here, that'd be great to receive him. So I'm just gonna leave Timmy just like that for a second. I'm gonna disconnect him. I'm gonna bring him to the ground nicely. And then I'm gonna pass him over to the EMS. All right, so here we are at the rescue event. So this is to simulate an uh, injured climber in the tree, where you have to come in, assess the situation, ascend into the tree, and then climb over to the injured climber, and then bring him down. So it's, it's something that you never really want to do at work, but this is something to obviously practice at work as well. So this will be, we'll go into depth of how the event will be set up, uh, the odd little scenario, which we'll keep simple today, and yeah, each step-by-step -step walk you through the event to make it as easy as possible from the day so you can actually perform a rescue. The rescue will, is usually five minutes, it's not usually any longer than that, they usually keep it at five minutes. Uh, so yeah, so that's what we're going to go on today and go in depth on. So a couple key things with the rescue. There'll always be an access line which has to be used. You can't not use this, it has to be used. Uh, it can be, generally it'll be left in a running configuration. So you can either go up however you want, double rope, cinch it at the top, base tie it, however you want to use this, but it must be used. So you've got that. Obviously there'll always be a casualty in the tree. Generally they're not so far out. It says in the rules something like they have to be four meters out from the tree or something like that. So they'll be there. Uh, every scenario is different, so some might have like chainsaw cuts to parts of the limbs, there might be silky cuts, there could be just they've got hit by a branch and they're out cold, so non-responsive, uh, all these different things. In this scenario that we're going to do today, is going to be really simple just to keep things so you can follow along nicely. So we've just got his heat exhaustion and he's actually gone, and gone out cold from that, so he's just an unconscious climber in the tree that has to be brought down. Um, so other than that, I think they're the, really the key things you need to know for now. And then we're just going to go into depth into each segment of the rescue itself where you get all the points. All right, so now we're on to what gear you'll need. So you'll need to bring in like your harness, uh, something sort of approved hardware to use on the rope that's here. Uh, which might be something like a double rope system, single line, whatever you want to put onto the rope to use as long as it's compatible with it. And then you need to bring in like a bridge to bridge for when you get to the casualty because you need to do a bridge to bridge attachment. You might need to bring in an extra rope for the casualty if his is damaged in any way, uh, but that's all to do with the scenario. And then obviously you need to wear your helmet, glasses and appropriate uh, clothing and footwear. So. Other than that, that's probably all you'll need to do, but you just need to make sure you bring that into the ring with you. Uh, and then your time will start as soon as you enter the ring. So we're gonna go through like the first stage of the rescue. So if you want to have like the score sheet, if you wanna have that with you now to follow along, it's the best way to learn. And you can see exactly where all the points are from what I'm saying. So you'd enter the ring and then first off, you want to assess whether the casualty is going to communicate or whether unconscious. So assess the casualty and then you need to like, call for the ambulance and then tell them what's happened, the scenario, your location, like whether you need a helicopter, a fall before, whatever you might need. And then once you've done that, you then need to uh, assess the tree. So you assess whether like dead wood, uh, pest or diseases, all this, like the unions, whether it's actually safe to climb and perform a rescue. And then once you've done that, you need to then uh, communicate with the ground staff what your plan is to rescue, your rescue plan. So you're gonna like, I'm going to ascend up the tree, I'm gonna swing over to Timmy, or the, the injured climber. I always call him Timmy in my rescues, it's what happens. But anyway, so you need to get to him, set his gear, and then I'm going to bring him down to the ground and then pass him over to the emergency services. So you need to say that is your plan. So it's a little bit, you need to keep talking throughout the whole thing. You need to uh, 
communicate with the casualty all the time. It's like a little bit like a drama. You need to talk all the time because you don't want to be stood here dead silence because it just doesn't help. If you need to talk about something, just talk about what you're doing or I'm tying my system now, whatever it may be. So just keep talking is the best thing, best advice I could give you really. Just keep saying something and uh, and yeah, you'll do fine. Just, just stay confident and you'll be fine. So uh, now I've done that, Kate's going to uh, go and do a little demo of that bit and then we'll move on to stage two, which is the ascent and movement uh, to the casualty. Timmy, Timmy, are you okay? Okay, everybody stop work. We got an injured climber in the tree. Sir, can you please call emergency services? All the relevant information is on the risk assessment and the what three words. It'll bring us right to site. We have room for a helicopter and a four by four if necessary. I don't see any power lines or gas lines or anything. Timmy's stuff looks okay. It looks like he's just unconscious. It's a bit hot today, so it might be heat exhaustion. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the tree looks fine. I don't see any dead wood or anything hanging in the tree. There's no cuts or bleeding that I can see from the ground, but I'll reassess that when I get up into the tree. All right, so I'm just gonna, what my plan is, is I'm gonna ascend up and I'm gonna get Timmy on his own gear because it looks fine. So I'm just gonna check my rope now. It looks good. So that was stage one uh, there done now. So uh, what we've done here so we can move on to stage two is we just did a canopy anchor and in case it's tied a wrench on here system. Uh, so we can just get on to the next one. Usually you'd do that in stage one as you're talking uh, but for this we just want to get on to the next stage so there'll be a full run from start to finish at the end and we'll have that time stamped in the video at the bottom there uh, so yeah so what Kate would do now on stage two we see ascent and movement to the casualty so first off she'd start and she'd verify that the anchor point is there safe to use so would, you can double load it ask someone to help you if you want or just say it's fine yourself and then what she'd then do with it would be a safe smooth and efficient ascent into the canopy uh, and then she'd do like more safe, suitable and efficient movement to the casualty so to just swing over and keep it all nice and clean and then you also while you're doing this is communicate appropriate information down to the casualty and your ground staff of what's going on, what she's doing, other things they may need to know like stay back, keep your PPE on, everything, don't let anyone in the ring, all this sort of thing you can say as you're ascending up and checking that everything's still safe to do. So Kate's now gonna demo that side of it in stage two, and then we'll move on from there. All right, can I please get a double load on this to ensure my anchor is good? Awesome, okay, so I'm just gonna get my ascenders on. I'm gonna send up the tree. Timmy, you still with me, mate? All right, so Timmy's still unresponsive. All right, bud, I'm just gonna come up to you. Everyone stay out the ring, please including the EMS, unless they have PPE on. All right, Timmy, so I'm just gonna take off my cinders here. I'm gonna make my way over to you. So you're gonna feel me, I'm gonna swing across, and then you're gonna feel a thud beside you and any movement or somebody touching you is just me, my friend, okay? Just need to come down here a bit. So I'm gonna swing over to you, that's what I need. Right, stand clear, swing. All right, all right, Timmy. All right, so I can see Timmy's gear is good. I don't see any blood on Timmy. So I'm assuming he's just knocked unconscious. So I'm just gonna come down to Timmy and get sorted out. So that was stage two that Kate just did. So now we're moving on to stage three, which is casualty assessment and handling. If you're still following along in the rule book, it's there in the middle now. So what she'll then do now is secure herself at the casualty in a safe working position and then she'll uh, assess the, the climber's uh, injuries and the gear that is safe to use or, or not use. Um, in our scenario it's the heat stroke issue and they're unconscious from it so she'll probably just make sure they're breathing and that she'll probably when she gets on the floor maybe give them water to cool them down uh, but by then hopefully the emergency services will be here. So anyway, moving after that, it'll be stabilizing the casualty into a correct uh, transport position. So making sure they're upright, nice and stable to come down on. And then she'll transfer the casualty from the branch, the, the lanyard in on, uh, so then they can actually uh, 
come down and then move into what will be the next stage, which will be the descent mode. So now Kate will just demonstrate that and then uh, go from there. So I have a better view of Timmy now. Stuff is definitely intact. I'm happy to bring him down on his gear. Checking him, he's fine. His face is just a bit sweaty. So I'm just gonna come down. I'm gonna lanyard in so I'm not making myself a casualty as well. And then I'm going to clip myself to Mr. Timmy. I've got this loopy sling here. All I'm gonna do is feed one side through his bridge like that. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip that to myself like so, I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna spin Timmy around. I'm just gonna lay him out here nicely. He's still out, he's, out, oh, he's still unconscious. Just gonna make sure his head's the right way. So I'm just gonna disconnect Timmy since he's on my system now. So I'm happy that he's not gonna go anywhere. I'm just gonna lengthen his lanyard out. I'm gonna pass it around behind him so I can make him into a nice package and seat him up. And that way it can help keep his airways clear and then keep him upright. And that way the blood doesn't get rushed to his head when I spin him around and bring him to the floor. I'm just gonna tighten up just a bit more. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna disconnect myself now. Need everybody to stand clear for descent, please, as I bring Mr. Timmy down. So that was Kate just demoing stage three. So now we're on to stage four, which is the descent part. So in this one, Kate needs to like say an audible warning that she's coming down, so I stand clear descending. And then she needs to um, maintain the casualty in a nice, safe, suitable position while being safe and smooth on the descent and the controlled, nice, smooth, even descent. And then she needs to also communicate to the uh, ground staff or the EMS the, that are there what's uh, happened to Timmy and any instructions or like that down to the ground staff. And yeah, so Kate's now just gonna demo descending out the tree with the casualty and then we'll move on from there. All right, stand clear for descent. Timmy and I are coming down. Timmy is a 23 year old male. We suspect, we suspect that he's got heat exhaustion. So I'm just gonna bring him down. EMS, can I please get you in here to help me lay Timmy down? All right. I'm just gonna lay Timmy down. I'm gonna disconnect him from myself. I'm gonna hand him over to the EMS. All right, so that was Kate demoing the descent and then we actually went straight into the landing part of it as well because it all just blended into one. So with the landing part, it's obviously getting both Kate and the casualty to the floor and then getting him in a nice comfortable position and then be able to uh, move around so they can get the casualty down, maybe even put them in the recovery position, whatever suits the casualty's injuries. And then also doing like audible like communication saying that you're about to hand them over to the emergencies. And then finally, once you unclip the casualty from your system, that, that's it, all done. So that would be your time done. And as long as you did it all within five minutes, your rescue will be finished, they score all the points then and add it all up and you'll be done. So you'll be able to just relax then after that and uh, move on to your next event. So all in all, that's exactly how the rescue is done. We're gonna do now a complete full uh, demonstration from start to finish of the whole event. So you can see everything from Kate Tyner system going up, climbing over and just doing what we just did then, but all in one shot. So we'll do that now and then We'll uh, talk about anything else that we need to at the end there. So yeah. Timmy, Timmy, are you okay? All right, everybody stop work. Looks like we have an injured climber in the tree. Sir, can you please call EMS? All the relevant information is on there. Yep. We have room for a helicopter and a four by four. Looks like Timmy's gear is okay. I'm gonna try to bring him down. The, there's no um, electrical hazards or any gas mains. There's nothing else. I don't see any hangers or there's no chainsaws dangling. So I'm gonna use this rope. Looks good. I'm gonna send up a cinching anchor. So I'm just gonna tie an alpine quickly 
My hope is I can bring Timmy down on his gear, but I'll make a better assessment once I get into the tree. So I'm just gonna run this anchor up. I'm gonna go up on a single line configuration because I know I can ascend quicker on that. And then hopefully I'm gonna make my way over to Timmy. Timmy, you all right? All right, so Timmy's still unconscious. Anybody who needs to come into the ring, please make sure you have your relevant PPE on. Anybody who doesn't need to be here, please stay out. So I'm just tying on my system here. Just using a rope wrench, tying my knot. Timmy, stay with me, bud. So just tie this here. When you get a hold of EMS, please have them report to us here. Make sure they have all their PPE on, please, before they enter in. I'm gonna be the rescue climber today. Just gonna get my system on here, and I'm gonna test load the anchor, please. And I make sure that it is suitable for me to go on. Right, so I'm hooked up here. That's awesome. Can I get another double load, please? Thank you. Great, I'm happy with that. Nothing's changed since I've got up here. That's awesome. I'm just gonna clip in, take a step, and I get my knee ascender hooked up, and then we're ready to go. All right, Timmy, you're gonna feel some movement in the tree as I come up. So as I'm going up, I'm having a better view of Timmy's stuff. Everything looks fine. No hangers that I can see. His rope looks intact. He looks fine, other than he's out cold from the heat exhaustion. But I still don't see any blood. I can see his face is a bit sweaty, but there's still no blood. I can see his chest rising and falling, so I definitely know he's breathing. So that is a really good sign. So I'm just gonna scoot over to this limb and get myself sorted out. I just need to get her along around this limb. All right, Timmy, I'm just gonna come across to you, bud, so you're gonna feel some more movement as I jump. So everyone stand clear, swing. All right, so I have a better view of Timmy now. Stuff is definitely intact. I'm happy to bring him down on his gear. Checking him, he's fine. His face is just a bit sweaty. So I'm just gonna come down. I'm gonna lanyard in so I'm not making myself a casualty as well. And then I'm going to clip myself to Mr. Timmy. I've got this loopy sling here. All I'm gonna do is feed one side through his bridge like that. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip that to myself like so. I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna spin Timmy around. I'm just gonna lay him out here nicely. He's still out, he's, out, he's still unconscious. Just gonna make sure his head's the right way. So I'm just gonna disconnect Timmy since he's on my system now. So I'm happy that he's not gonna go anywhere. I'm just gonna lengthen his lanyard out. I'm gonna pass it around behind him so I can make him into a nice package and seat him up. And that way it can help keep his airways clear and then keep him upright. And then that way the blood doesn't get rushed to his head when I spin him around and bring him to the floor. I'm just gonna tighten up just a bit more. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna disconnect myself now. I need everybody to stand clear for descent, please, as I bring Mr. Timmy down. EMS, can you please receive the uh, casualty? This is Timmy, he's 23 years old, suspected suffering from heat exhaustion. If I could just get you here, that'd be great to receive him. So I'm just gonna leave Timmy just like that for a second. I'm gonna disconnect him. I'm gonna bring him to the ground nicely. And then I'm gonna pass him over to the EMS. So that was the rescue, all demonstrated there by Kate. So with all that all done and said, on the day there will be obviously different scenarios and you'll be demonstrated on the walk around, you'll be able to ask questions there to the judges there about the scenario that they have on the day. Um, but always refer back to the score sheet and the rule books if you're unsure about something. So we'll have them linked below. Uh, so yeah, if any of any other questions, just uh, put them down in the comments and yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Do you hear the, the tractor or not? Probably not. Staff and instructions on the... Oh no, I was reading the wrong bit. I was like, I'm sure that wasn't right. Oh, staff. Here I come. Oh, nope, I have to redo that. <laughs>